The Eternal Alliance is getting stronger every day, Commander. Worlds across the galaxy have sent us tribute, and everyone respects your authority as Emperor. Well, almost everyone. There's another rebellion on Zakul. What are your orders? Make an example of the rebels. Turn their hideout into a smoking crater. If you say so. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iocath? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the superweapon right about now. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? You heard the droid? Mm hmm. Lana equals full of herself. Focus on the mission. Have you found the superweapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts, and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! Lana? What's happening? I've got company. What's the Republic doing here? The Sith Empire? They must be after the superweapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry. Working on it. Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iocath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. Every meter of Iocath belongs to me. From the smallest bolt to the largest superweapon. The Republic and the Empire know that. They just don't care. Why would they risk everything over this one superweapon? According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Between the Eternal Throne and this superweapon, I could conquer entire star systems before breakfast. But first, we will need to secure it. We'll meet you on Iocath, Lana. Head for the fleet spire and start clearing a landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet, converge on Iocath immediately and await my orders. We have a war to win. as dangerous as ever. Something's wrong. The Imperial and Republic fleets aren't attacking each other. No, 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 no! Something is scrambling our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the superweapon. The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. 
What good is a fleet of invincible warships if they refuse to follow my orders? We'll get them back online. If there's any workaround, we'll find it on Iocath. We've landed on Iocath. Perfect timing. Meet me at these coordinates, and watch out for droid sentries. Clear the area. We need the fleet spire safe before we make camp here. Understood. May the Force ever serve you. Commander, welcome back to Iocath. I hate it when work keeps us apart. At least the reunions are all the sweeter. You didn't tell us you had company. Our trigger-happy friends sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin. I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Careful, Commander. You'll slip on the fawning Captain Slobber. Who are you? Major Quinn. Advisors of the Empress and loyal servant of the Sith Empire. Like Captain Dawn, I come bearing a message. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. I have so many admirers and so little time. We'll keep this brief. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. You were strong once, but now you're standing in the shadow of my eternal alliance. And you want a weapon to even the odds. We're taking up arms against the Imps, Commander, not you. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. Iocath belongs to the Eternal Alliance. Why should I share any part of it with you? Consider it payment for driving off the Imperial looters. This is preposterous. The Empire openly supported your Eternal Alliance, while the Republic watched from the sidelines. You once sat beside me on the Dark Council. Now you can return to your roots. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iocath. That's enough. I've made my decision. We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic!
she got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Lana, Major Quinn, defend the fleet's fire while we hold off the Republic. May the Force serve us all. It's been far too long since I've spilled Republic blood. I haven't had this much fun since our time on Droman Kass. And once again we stand triumphant against our foes. We have secured our base and sent the Republic troops whimpering back to their master. The closer our relationship, the more impressive the results. Our combined power will fill Malcolm with terror. If I know the Supreme Commander, he's already plotting the Republic's next move. Strike teams Auric and Greg suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your orders. <sighs> Messina must be loving this. But her victory belongs to her ally. You compiled a report on the Alliance Commander. What's your recommendation? He's a hardened veteran with extensive personnel and resources. Even with our numbers, I doubt our chances in a head-to-head -head battle. Asymmetrical tactics would be best. A surprise attack. Surgical and precise. Then we'd better shock the Alliance commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Iocaf. What are we looking at? The Republic has erected a formidable base. Their defenses are impressive, but they lack the supplies needed for a long campaign. If we lay siege to Malcolm's base, we can suffocate the Republic offensive and win the war. Why suffocate them slowly, when it's so much more satisfying to crush their windpipe? To pull that off, we'd need the Eternal Fleet. And they're still on standby. You're thinking too small, Agent Shan. My scouts recently found a weapons factory. It's guarded by a host of Iacath droids, and filled to the brim with dangerous toys. What do you say we plunder the factory, then use what we find to annihilate Malcolm's base? You could have mentioned the factory sooner. You were hoping to take it for yourself, weren't you? All due respect, Commander, but you sound paranoid. I had no such intention. No more secrets. Understood? Of course. Coordinate with Lana and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Is that what I think it is? One of Iocath's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. Let's hope it stays that way. I'm only interested in weapons, not the bodies they left behind. I'm on it. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. Iocath's even more impressive in person. Its technologies will defend the Republic soon enough. We've nearly finished construction, but the schematics are missing key pieces of data. Time is short, Captain. Find a workaround. Right away, sir. We can't fail now. The fate of the Republic rests on our shoulders. Jack. I'd say that's enough firepower to get Malcolm a run for his money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons, and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. 
Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Can you control the super weapon from here? <sighs> Looks like I'm shut out. When it went on lockdown, it must have closed all outside access. Looks like Iocast's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. This weapon keeps getting better the more I hear about it. We're not talking about your standard mass-killing machine. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over 10 trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. I could unleash it on any Republic world I want. I could take Coruscant. That's what scares me. There. Downloaded arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... ...that happens. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? I've been thinking. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out so was the Empire. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data. And they're identical. I'm confident the Republic received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone. We can't be sure who to trust. I couldn't agree more. Other top suspects include the Shroud, Darth Jadis, a rogue agent inside the Republic's strategic information service. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is, there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Welcome back, Commander. Meet the Crimson Talon. A joint Imperial Alliance production, outfitted with Iocath weaponry and ready for you to pilot in battle. If I'd known we were exchanging gifts, I wouldn't have shown up empty-handed. Bring me Malcolm's head and we'll call it even. Incoming call. Supreme Commander Malcolm. Have you called to surrender? Not quite. Consider this a friendly warning. My engineers have discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Republic. An attack against me is an attack against Theron. Would you really sacrifice your son? I had a son, once. He dedicated his life to defending the Republic. I dedicated my life to the fight for peace. And when you bowed to the Eternal Empire, I decided to fight back. That's why I joined the Alliance. And your idealistic war nearly destroyed the Republic. Goodbye, Agent Sean. Damn it, Malcolm! Harness that rage, Theron. Use it to crush your father's resistance. Let's move out. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead our charge. Crush the Republic!
Where's Malcolm? Right here. Last chance. Surrender, or I activate the superweapon. No deal. Theron, you wouldn't. It's father-son moments like this that make me glad I never had kids. You've chosen this tyrant over me? Over the Republic? Yes, I have. Don't do it, Malcolm. Radiant City, bathed in light, forged by the molten gods. Malcolm! Superweapon is glorious, and it belongs to the Republic. I've got a bad feeling about this. The gods sense your fear, Commander. No! The gates are closing! Sir, your connection to the throne is breaking down. Superweapon controls are failing. No, I can still see it. I know what I must do. They're coming. Father! It's too late, Theron. We can't give up now. Over, you can bury him in the ashes of the Republic. You always had a great bedside manner. <laughs> Malcolm's power flux knocked out the super weapon's defenses. Killed the signal that put our ships in lockdown. The Eternal Fleet's back online. It's about time. Commander, I'm detecting massive power spikes at the super weapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. Don't worry, Lana. We'll handle the super weapon. You'll never reach it in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. And Lana, I love you. I love you too. Come back safely, Commander. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a super weapon. Theron, I've reached the super weapon facility. How do I shut it down? You'll need to interface with the main controls. Look for a throne, take a seat, and hope for the best. Am I crazy, or is this the third one I've seen today? 
fourth, if you count the eternal throne. Well, you can start a collection. Just a machine, stranded on a dead planet and worshipped by a bunch of tin cans. Darkness, lies. Show me your rage. You burn with fury, immolation, anger, a sacrifice, superior. I didn't come here to be poked and prodded. You had no choice. You were lured here. Blinded by duty. Distracted by trust. You did not see the blade to your neck. The rage in your shadow. The traitor. You are betrayed. I've let too many people into my inner circle. It was only a matter of time before someone stabbed me in the back. Suspicious corrodes. The betrayer lured you to Iotaf, igniting war, sparked the engines of rage, envy, passion, hate, sorrow. The betrayer now offers you Sacrifice Prime! You! For the Six Gods! I'm not an offering. I'm your destroyer. Rage! Open fire! Lana. Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. I found the super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. Your dreams are almost as bad as mine. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. Someone betrayed me. They lured me into that death trap and sabotaged the throne. Just like they tricked all of us into fighting a war on Iocath. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? Athena is an expert strategist. If she took me down, the galaxy would be as good as hers. I always thought she had a case of throne envy. Why stop with Athena? If we're tallying suspects, we have to consider Aiko, Vizsla, Satil, and the entire Alliance army. Not to mention Lana. And hell, even me. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out. Quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't. But the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. 
I can't take any more chances. If someone so much as scratches their nose, I want to hear about it. We'll form a surveillance team. Everyone will be considered a suspect. Excellent. You're awake and looking stronger than ever, I see. Are you ready to return to the battlefield? Their Supreme Commander's dead. Is the Republic still refusing to surrender? They always were a stubborn lot. Without Malcolm, the Republic forces are in total chaos. They're more desperate than ever for control of Iacarth. The Republic can't fight forever. Without Malcolm's guidance, they'll be crushed between our armies. It's so close I can almost taste it. We must rain destruction on the Republic, day and night, until we soak Iacath with their blood. Only then will we emerge triumphant. Good luck on the battlefield, Commander. Victory will be ours. We'll track her movements, see what she's hiding. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all. Outlander, the tapestry of fate joins us once more. We are all that remains of the Scions of Zakul. We have come to aid your quest, just as the prophecy foretold. If you'd shown up any later, I would have forgotten you Scions ever existed. Valen hunted us to the edges of the galaxy. We evaded her Horizon Guards to return when you need us most. You have awakened the God of Rage. You're talking about the giant droid, the superweapon. What you call a superweapon, we know as one of the six gods. They were forged on Iokath in a forgotten age. Their master set them loose upon Zakul, killing millions, and giving birth to our pantheon of gods. Now Tithe has reawakened, and his brethren will soon join him to destroy us all. Your gods are nothing more than oversized droids. And like all machines, I can melt them down for scrap metal. No one, not even you, can extinguish their radiance. But you can tame it. Your fate is already written. You will clash with the gods. And when you subdue them, you will be judged worthy to take possession of their shells. You will drive the Titans against your Republic enemies, and become a god yourself. Where do I sign up? You already walk the path. You are destined to confront the gods. Beyond that, your fate remains unseen. Perhaps you will impress the god of rage, and assume his mantle to march against the Republic. Or you will perish and fade from history. I will contact you if we see more, but for now, your ultimate fate is clouded in darkness. Commander, fresh news from the war on Iokath. Republic troops capture one of our supply stations. The Empire's leading a retaliation, but we're locked in a stalemate. You always know how to cheer me up. What about our hunt for the traitor in our ranks? We've been spying on every member of the Eternal Alliance, just like you ordered. Now we're drowning in leads, but none of it's actionable. Our people feel violated, and we're no closer to catching the traitor. Bring me their head on a platter. I don't care how you do it. 
If we crank up the heat any more, we'll turn one traitor into a hundred. Lighten up, Theron. Things aren't all doom and gloom. Well, you look cheery today, Lana. Did Galt spike the calf again? Even better. I found a lead. Alliance agents picked up a signal from the Shadow World of Umbara. It's encrypted with the same algorithm the traitor used on Iocath. They're still on the planet, helping our Republic foes grab a massive stockpile of Adegan crystals. Let's keep this quiet until we know who's trustworthy. I'll lead a small strike team and capture the traitor myself. I'll provide backup. As will I. The Republic won't give up their precious crystals without a fight. Both sides have tinkered with Adegan crystals for years. Part of an arms race to build a new arsenal of superweapons. If we move quickly, we can corner the traitor and hijack those crystals. Intel says they're on an Umbaran supply train headed for the capital city. Then we leave now. The traitor won't escape us this time. on the move, and the traitor's on board. Nothing we can do. I have a lock on the traitor's signal. They're near the front of the train. Down with the Alliance! Protect the crystals! Traitors on the other side of that door. They're gone. That's impossible. According to the signal, they're still on the convoy. It's over, Commander. In a few minutes, this train will collide with that mountain range. You'll be disintegrated, and I'll escape with the Adegan crystals. Don't worry. You won't feel a thing. I could end your miserable life in an instant. But first, I want to hear an explanation from the traitor's lips. When you show your true colors... It makes all this easier. Luring you into that trap on Iocath was just the beginning. Ever since you defeated Valkorgan, everything I've done has been towards one goal. The total destruction of the Eternal Alliance. You helped build the Alliance. 
After everything we've been through, why tear it down now? What I built was an end to the Eternal Empire, not this. I followed you because I believed you'd end the cycle of war. I thought we'd finally be free once you took down Valkoria. But the Eternal Throne brought out the worst in you. Now you're a power-hungry tyrant, a symbol of everything that's rotten in the galaxy. I'll take that as a compliment. You are really something. If you toppled the Alliance, millions will die. If that's the cost of peace, so be it. 30 seconds to impact. This is goodbye. You better start running, Theron. I'm going to enjoy hunting you down. Lana! Theron escaped. long enough to make Theron pay. Jump! you survived the crash, I didn't think it would be that easy. But it buys me enough time to get off world. Keep talking. It'll make silencing you all the more satisfying. You'll need to catch me first. I don't understand. How did I not see this coming? Was I really that blind? Once a spy, always a spy. Deception is what scum like Theron do best. When I get my hands on him, he will regret betraying a Sith. This isn't over, Theron. No! This is just beginning. covered most of the Adegan crystals. Once we tap into their power, Iokath is as good as ours. And Theron? Word of his betrayal is spreading quickly. My agents are running damage control, but it will be weeks before we know how much harm he inflicted. Even with the truth out in the open, I can hardly believe Theron was the traitor. Only a handful of people had the access and training to pull this off. Theron was one of them. I should have seen this coming. But we can use our knowledge of Theron to hunt him down. We should brace ourselves for Theron's next move. Theron's father may be dead, but his mother's still alive. Find out what she knows. I already have feelers digging into Satil's whereabouts. I'll begin the hunt at once. Before you start, I want to send a message to Theron. Open a hollow channel and prepare to broadcast it across the galaxy. Clearing channels now. What message will you send the traitor? This is the commander of the Eternal Alliance. I have a warning about the terrorist, Theron Shan. He is a dangerous, unhinged criminal who will stop at nothing to destroy you and your loved ones. I am placing a bounty on Theron Shan's head. One billion credits to anyone who brings him in, dead or alive. I'm sorry, Commander. So, you did as we asked. 
We had our doubts, but now we see your dedication to the cause. We've reached a decision. Theron Sean, welcome to the Order. Timing, Commander. It seems the bounty you put on Theron reached the right people. I just approved a landing request from an unarmed shuttle from the Chiss Ascendancy. The envoy claims he has a lead on where Theron went. An informant landing on our doorstep. You've outdone yourself. It's not entirely my doing, but I'll let you thank me properly later if his information is good. A pleasure to finally meet you, Commander. Aristocrat Saganu of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force. You said you have information on Theron. Information that will benefit us both. Theron Shan is hiding on the Chiss world of Copero. He's receiving aid from Syndic Zenta of House in Rokini in exchange for Alliance secrets. With our help, you can catch them both unaware. You said this information also benefits the Ascendancy. How? We're hoping you can take care of two traitors at once. Zenta violated Ascendancy orders when she sheltered Theron, and now she's ignoring our communications. She's gone rogue. She has the backing of House in Rokini, so we can't capture Theron without igniting a political war. But if a strike team were to land and take care of the problem, the Ascendancy will look the other way. Outsiders have never been allowed on Copero. You trust us that much? I do have one stipulation. I'll send a representative along to keep the Ascendancy's best interests in mind. Lieutenant Rena Temple of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force reporting. I've heard a lot about your tactics, Commander. I hope to prove a useful ally. I don't need an Ascendancy watchdog keeping tabs on me. We trust your judgment, sir. I'm simply here to provide support. If there are no objections, we should get a move on. We don't know how long the Aristocra's information will be valid. Get ready to take off. It's time to catch a traitor.
I see you've met our traitor. Have you secured yours? He's gone. It seems Theron Shon has betrayed us both. He wasn't seeking refuge on Capero. He was after the Chist relic hidden here. Does she mean the hollow map? I'm going to need an explanation. Long ago, Chiss agents stole a hollow map from the Sith Emperor in case our deal with the Empire went sour. It shows the coordinates to the Emperor's greatest secrets. It's been hidden here on Capero, and only the highest ranking Chiss can access it. Sean knew this, and he used me. He sliced into my personal logs to steal the map's location. Once he had what he needed, Sean took my best fighters and abandoned me. You took in a known traitor. What did you expect would happen? Trust me when I say I had no idea what devastation he was truly planning. Commander, Sean has joined a group searching for a powerful weapon. One capable of destroying entire civilizations. They want to use it against you and the Alliance. That map will lead Theron straight to it. There it is. Of all the planets in the galaxy. Then our objective is clear? Yeah. Trust in my vision, Sean. You will not fail. You're right, for all our sakes. It seems we now have a mutual enemy. I've sent you the coordinates to Sean's location. If you hurry, you can stop him. One moment, Commander. As you know, Syndic Zenta is a traitor to the Chiss. Officially, we can't act on this. But you can. If you disposed of Zenta, you would have the gratitude of the Ascendancy. I may even be able to broker an alliance. You wouldn't dare. You have a deal, Aristocrat. The Ascendancy thanks you. I've received Center's map coordinates, Commander. Let's go. We're not letting Theron escape again. End of the line, Theron. Go! I'll hold them off! No, you'll never win! Victory isn't my fate, Theron. It's yours! Sir, I've received an update from Aristocra Sagano. The Ascendancy has announced they are mourning Syndic Zenta's untimely death. Officially, they condemn the Alliance for her assassination. But Sagano is grateful for how you handled the matter. Should you need it, the Expansionary Defense Force stands ready to aid you. Privately. 
I couldn't care less about political schemes. It's time we focus on Theron. Of course. Lana's tracking him down as we speak. In any case, I'd like to stay and continue working with the Alliance. I believe my connection to the Ascendancy could be valuable here. Good. We'll need the extra hands to capture Theron and find this mysterious group he's allied with. We managed to recover fragments of the hollow map he destroyed. I'm personally overseeing a team of engineers to piece them back together. I assure you, Commander, no one sleeps until we discover where the traitor is headed. Then I can finally wipe the condescending smirk from his face. When we're through, he'll wish he had disappeared. We're close to uncovering the next step in his plan. Then the real hunt begins. We've received the coordinates. You've proven yourself useful, Theron. I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. Will this really work? You have no need to worry. The Eternal Alliance and its commander will be destroyed. The Order of Zildrog will prevail. Keep your stinking paws off me. I'm not in the talking mood. The tough guy act won't work on me. Yeah? Well, let me talk to the son of a hut in charge, and you'll see how tough I really am. You're looking at him. Thought I'd seen enough ghosts to last a lifetime. But this... I trust you have a fascinating reason for harassing my ships. Your ships? I must be missing something here. Last I heard, the Eternal Fleet belonged to some psycho empress determined to take over the galaxy. Killed a lot of good people. Almost killed me. So I fought back the only way I knew how. By raiding the ships. Made a stack of credits on the side. Had no idea the fleet was under new management. Shows how much I've paid attention. I can handle it from here, Hilo. You sure? I lied. I didn't hijack all those Eternal Fleet ships for the credits. I heard the Eternal Fleet hauled you away. Figured I owed you a rescue. Been looking for you ever since. Don't get me wrong, I like the credits. But you and I had a nice setup. Best job I ever had. So, what do you say, Sith? Are we a team again? You'll work for free. To make up for the damages to my fleet. Should have seen that coming. It'll be just like the good old days, Sith. The future's looking up. Find me. We have a lot to talk about, don't we? You can start by explaining where you've been all this time. That's a little complicated. When you disappeared, I didn't know where to turn. The Jedi condemned me a long time ago, and I couldn't trust the Sith. I was lost. It made me realize how much I relied on others. I needed to forge my own path, away from you, from the Council and everyone else who tried to influence me. So I traveled across the galaxy, helping those who needed it most. I never stayed in one place too long. It taught me a lot about myself. You must have heard about my return. 
Why did I have to track you across the galaxy to speak with you? I... couldn't face you. Not until I knew I was strong enough. I was afraid that if I returned to you, I would fall into my old ways. I'd become a follower again, instead of a leader. But when I see you, I don't feel like a frightened child in need of guidance anymore. With this new strength, I can finally come back. Not as your apprentice, but as your equal. No. You still belong to me. I should have known you wouldn't change. But I have. I won't tolerate your cruelty anymore. We're done here. Commander, you're just in time. Hilo discovered a new lead in our search for the Order of Zildrog. My guys picked up a weird signal from an abandoned Imperial listening post on one of their runs. Seems it was meant for the Alliance. When decrypted, the signal broadcasts one word, Zildrog. The same as the message we intercepted from Theron. Someone is trying to lead us to the Order. I know it. If that listening post is tied to the Order, we should bring the fleet and prepare for a fight. It wouldn't hurt to have a few ships on standby, in case it's a trap. But regardless, it could hold vital information. We need to get inside that listening post and gather whatever data we can. There's no telling what you'll find, so I'll come along to provide support. I'm ready when you are. Then let's get moving. Hilo, ready the shuttle. Empire abandoned this listening post years ago, during Zakul's first invasion. No life readings inside, but the security system may still be active. We should be cautious. Two children on the spire fight over a discarded ration. I could do nothing to help them. Zakul was a golden empire. And now look at us. Digging through the ashes the Alliance left behind. So many families torn apart. Fighting a war they never wanted. And for what? So the Outlander can rule us from a stolen throne? Valkorion's death. Arkham's tyranny. Valen's path of destruction. It all began with the Outlander. I don't know what I can do, but I won't stand by and watch my people suffer. I need to take down the Alliance. For Zakul. Who is this man? According to the data, his name is Vin Atreus, former member of Valen's Horizon Guard. He was reported missing six months ago. Beyond that, no records. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone. Even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. We spent weeks sweeping Odessan for bugs. And somehow they still had eyes on us. How is that possible? You'll need my help. No one knows the Alliance better than one of its founders. You expect me to trust you? After you helped the Outlander forge a partnership with the Empire? In a single blow, you doubled their support and cut ours in half. 
I also led the commander into that trap on Iocath. You wouldn't hear me out, so I took matters into my own hands. Look, you doubt my intentions, I get that. How can I convince you? Umbara. The Adegan Crystals. You got it. Tyrrell was my partner in the Knights of Zakul. She saved my life countless times. I would have followed her to the ends of the galaxy. When she asked me to join the Alliance, I didn't hesitate. If she believed in the Commander, so did I. You were a member of the Alliance? I never had the chance. Before I left Zakul, Senya went silent. Later I learned she'd been murdered by the Outlander. Senya trusted the Alliance, and she died for it. I would burn Odessa to the ground for her. Help us, and you will get your vengeance. And Ozal, you helped the Outlander take the throne in the first place. You saw Valen's tyranny with your own eyes. Can you blame me for using any means necessary to overthrow her? You put another tyrant in her place. An error in judgment, I'll admit. But I'm here to correct my little mistake. The commander needs to be eliminated. Our people have suffered enough, Finn. Let's put an end to it. For Zakul. For Zakul. I... I think I finally found it. After combing through all the data we took from Iocath. There was a string of numbers repeated over and over. When I decrypted them, the string spelled a word. Zildrog. I thought it was just a legend, but the dragon god of Zakul is real. And it's a super weapon, capable of consuming entire civilizations. I, I don't know how to wake Zildrog or how to control it, but I'm one step closer. It's finally here. My chance to destroy the Alliance and avenge my people. But I can't do it alone. There's another machine god. If the Order awakens Zildrog and uses it on Odessan... Odessan is only the beginning. This weapon could devastate the galaxy. We're running out of time. How did you find me? It wasn't difficult. Despite clumsy attempts to cover your trail, I was able to learn everything about you. I know how to awaken Zildrog, and where to find it. It's much closer than you think. You're lying. I searched the Gemini network. I have ascended beyond the Gemini network. I severed my connection to maintain my free will. I've attained knowledge an organic like yourself cannot comprehend. If you provide the right people, I can help you control Zildrog. What do you want in return? My sisters are shackled to the throne. I still feel them calling to me. You want them freed? No. I want them destroyed. As long as the Eternal Fleet and the Gemini Network exist, I remain vulnerable to outside control. Zildrog is the key to my freedom. I will not be enslaved again. Odessan isn't the only target. They're after the entire Alliance, everything we built. We haven't lost yet. We need to find the Order and stop them from awakening Zildrog. My scans show there's still one more active terminal. Let's hurry. Strange. New data was entered into this console just before we arrived. What does it say? It's a set of coordinates on Nathema. There's a message. They've found it. Hurry. Wait. I recognize this encryption method. We developed it together years ago on Rishi. Only two people know how to decrypt it. Me... and Theron. There are so many layers to this, I hardly know what's real anymore. What in blazes is going on? The coordinates could be a trap. But... why Nathema? 
Self-destruct reactivated. All personnel advised to evacuate immediately. We'll discuss it later. Let's get out of here, before the whole station blows. It's on you now, Commander. You destroyed the data? Didn't leave a trace. I received word from my team. They have repaired the hollow map from Capero. The data confirmed the Order's objective is Nathema. I can't believe it, but Theron's information was good. What's more, the coordinates we received from Theron pointed to a specific location on Nathema. It may be Zildrog's location, but we can't know for sure. If the data we found is real, we need to destroy that machine before the Order activates it. The only chance we have is to follow Theron's coordinates. For now, we have to trust our information. In any case, I'm coming with you to face those traitors. I won't let them take you from me. I dare them to try. I can feel the history here. Corian had so much left to accomplish. If he had his way, we'd all be dead. Valkorian made to cool the paradise until your alliance destroyed it. I know I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to help. Then don't forget your place. We've arrived. It calls out to us. It has slept for centuries, but knows the time to feed is approaching. Zildra. Call the others. We'll begin soon. According to reports, the Force has returned to Nathema since Valkorion's death. The process has left the planet unstable and violent, so we'll need to be cautious. I've got the fleet rallied over Odessa in case we need to mobilize. Good luck, Commander. This is where the coordinates pointed to, but... Where are we? Not Zildrog's location, evidently. Sorry, I needed to meet somewhere the Order wouldn't notice. I managed to give them the slip, but we don't have much time. So you betrayed the Order, too? You have quite a track record. I know how it looks. Just hear me out. I heard rumors about the Order of Sildrog through my old Underworld contacts. It took me months to even find them. And the whole time, they were watching us. By the time I learned the truth about Sildrog, it was almost too late. They learned too much. I had to slow them down long enough for the Alliance to catch up. I had to join them, work from the inside. The only way to get Ven Atreus to trust me was to betray you. It wasn't the only way. Why didn't you come to me? The Gemini droid was watching. I couldn't figure out how, but she was recording every word we said. Telling you would risk the whole operation. I needed the betrayal to look real. You can't imagine how hard it was 
putting you through that. But I knew you were strong enough. I had faith in you. So you infiltrated the Order and learned their plans. What are we up against? They found Zildrog in one of the Emperor's vaults. Looks like Valkorion kept it on ice as a failsafe. The Order has nearly finished their final preparations once they activate Zildrog. It's the end of the Alliance. I see them. The Alliance has arrived. Already? How did they find us so quickly? They're in Sean's among them. I warned you about him. <sighs> that deceitful scum! We'll have to begin ahead of schedule. Make sure the others are ready. Our new ally will take care of the Outlander. I stalled him with false data for as long as I could, but we don't have much time. If we act now, we can stop the order before they activate Sildrog. I set up blind spots. We can get through the vault mostly undetected. We're supposed to trust you after what you've put us through. How do we know you're not leading us straight into the order's hands? If I get the slightest notion you're misleading us, I won't hesitate to kill you. I get it. Thanks for giving me a chance. Come on. We need to get moving. My enterprising apprentice. All grown up. You've done well for yourself, haven't you? Did you ever imagine you'd encounter me again? As you can see, I tricked some poor fool into my old prison, so I could take her form. Of course, it's not my first choice. But once the Order wrings the life from your body, I'll take it for my own. Think of what I could do if I controlled your power. You're nothing but a feeble old bat clinging to life. Do you really believe you could best me? I don't have to, my dear. Zeldron will take care of that for me. I don't expect this little surprise of mine to defeat you, but it should slow you down just enough. Enjoy! for ages. Organics fight so hard for their survival. But you are too late. The thrones have been filled. Zildrog is summoned. What happened to these people? They served a purpose they hadn't anticipated. Fuel for Zildrog's awakening. First, he will destroy the shadows that kept the enslaved to the Orkai. Then you will obliterate your pathetic alliance as a reward to Atreus for playing his part. Touch my fleet, and I'll use you as scrap to build a new throne. All oh, such weak threats. In the face of true power, the time has finally come. Sildrog awakens. Formation to 995. It is done. What was that? Ah, uh, Commander, things okay over there? 
because they're definitely not okay here. was how is this happening rally the troops and prepare for an attack protect odessin at all costs don't know how much help will be but i'll get the orders to admiral Ager. gathering power it appears i'll have to eliminate you myself destroy the power sources don't let zildrog recharge down before it has the chance to attack again. Tech involved shouldn't be too different from tight, so I think I can slice into it. Baron, no! Theron! Much to let you ruin my last chance at vengeance. Zildrog will destroy Odessin, and you'll finally know how it feels to lose everything. I'll tear you apart for what you did to Theron. There's the true Alliance Commander. It's time to end this! Zildrog, lend me your power! Servant of the dragon! Oh. 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 
But just barely. <laughs> Couldn't even do that right. It looks like you've won again, Outlander. Like you always do. What are you waiting for? Strike the final blow. Be the hero yet again. You destroyed my fleet, attacked my people, and endangered the galaxy. For your crimes, I sentence you to death. Get. It. Over with. We don't have much time. Unless we get Theron to Odessa, he won't make it. Call a shuttle. We're taking Theron home. Alliance casualties, minimal damage to Odessan, and we stopped an ancient machine from destroying half the galaxy. I'd say that's a win. Factions associated with members of the Order have offered their apologies. But the fact remains, the fleet and the Gravestone, our two strongest weapons, are gone. The future of the Alliance is... uncertain. What happened on Nathema is proof that we need change. The galaxy fears us, with or without the fleet. We'll have no problem maintaining control. If it were anyone else, I'd have doubts, but I've seen what you can do. After this, I imagine the Empire and Republic will double down on their war efforts. We may need to consider who we'll support when the time comes. It's time we get you back to the Empire, Lana. Only if I never have to set foot on Drummond Cass again. I must admit, I like the idea of us just... being. Seeing you risk your life time and time again, sometimes it was more than I could bear. I knew it was for the good of the galaxy, but... After this, everything is different. The galaxy is different. Perhaps now, we can... Settle down and spend the rest of our days in married bliss. I... What do you... Are you serious? If I were, what would you say? You need to ask me properly. Lana Benico, will you marry me? Of course I will, you ridiculous fool.
This isn't how I expected today would go. You know, it'll be nice to take a break from ruling the galaxy. Not like you've ever taken a break in your life. Theron. It's, uh... It's been a while since I was last in this room. It's good to be back. Look, I know I put you through hell. I was reckless and stupid and it almost cost us everything. I saw the bounty you put on me. I know I screwed up. But I did it to protect you and the Alliance. And... If you'll have me... I'll work hard to earn a place at your side. So... What do you say? Are we still a team? You risked your life for us. There's always a place for you here. <sighs> I don't know what I would have done if you'd said no. <laughs> I have a lot of making up to do, but I'm here to stay, no matter what. As am I. The Alliance may change, but we're not going anywhere. Everything is different now. But whatever the future holds for us, the three of us will face it. Together. I knew that the Alliance would flourish on Odessan, but I didn't expect this place to feel so much like home. You should be proud of what you've built here, and the allies you've gained. Valkorion is dead. There's nothing to keep them here anymore. No, they're here because they believe in something. Or rather, someone. The Alliance is still a formidable power, but we're not strong enough to face the Republic or the Empire. Unfortunately, a confrontation is inevitable. There are skirmishes in wild space, riots on Quesh. Galactic war is imminent. We can no longer afford neutrality. If the Alliance is to survive, we must align ourselves with the Republic or the Empire. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your lead. You're right, Lana. Now's the time. So who do you wish to support? The Republic or the Empire? I'm loyal to the Empire. As I expected. I'll reach out to my contacts in the Empire. They'll be in touch shortly. It really is lovely out here. It's been ages since I've watched a sunset. But we should get back. I've received over a dozen holocalls since we left. They can wait. I suppose I could stay out a little longer. Oh, I forgot to tell Baywan about the delayed fuel shipment. Lana. Right. Yes. Sunset now, work later. Identity confirmed. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Commander. I'm Advanced Protocol Unit NRO2. I specialize in diplomacy, translation, manslaughter, and calumniation. Put me through to your master. That won't be possible. My master is away on urgent business and asked me to speak on his behalf. The Empire appreciates your loyalty and fully supports this upcoming partnership. As leader of the Alliance, you will boost morale and align your allies under one banner. With war impending and resources dwindling, your first priority is protecting our fuel, food supply, and raw materials. We must keep them out of Republic hands. Wouldn't it be simpler to just merge the Alliance and the Empire? It was discussed, but Empress Asina requested that the Alliance remain a separate entity. She wants the Empire to be known as a formidable ally, not simply a conqueror. There are reports of a conflict brewing on the planet Osis. With your help, 
the Alliance could tip the balance in the Empire's favor. In the meantime, return to Odessa to await further contact. Long live the Empire. Greetings, Commander. It has been far too long. Moff Pyron, is that you? Last I heard, you had disappeared into the Outer Rim. Indeed. I'm afraid that in your absence, I was assigned to employ the Silencer fleet in a secret operation on behalf of Empress Asina herself. I'm back now, and have been for some time. You will return to my service immediately. Regrettably, that won't be possible, Commander. You are a valued ally of the Empire, but I no longer report to you. My duty is elsewhere. You can serve me, or you can suffer. I am flattered that you find my service so desirable, but I must decline. Empress Asina has very specific plans for me. I'm certain she would take it poorly if I were to suddenly leave. Well, it would be a shame to upset your new master. I'm glad you agree, Commander. A situation has arisen, and I believe it presents an opportunity to strengthen the bond between the Empire and your alliance. A small Imperial strike team is currently engaged in a covert operation on the ancient Jedi world of Osus. I am hoping that you can provide them with some assistance. What kind of assistance? The operation is being overseen by a younger member of the Dark Council. Darth Malora, Head of Scientific Advancement. While Malora possesses a brilliant mind, not unlike Empress Asina, she has little of Asina's patience for the subtleties of military operations. Malora's objective was meant to be completed by now. Pressed to deliver results, she will likely hurl troops at the problem without regard for strategy. My finest infantry soldiers, Raven Squad, are participating in the operation. It would be a great loss to the Empire if their lives were wasted. You're calling me up just to save a handful of soldiers? As I said, they are my most loyal and skillful troops. But my concern extends to the operation as a whole. As a member of the Dark Council, Malora is beyond my influence. But someone like yourself, an outsider whose allegiance is greatly valued, you could accomplish much that I cannot. I can investigate the situation. What is the strike team's mission on Osus? The Jedi have established a secret colony on the planet. We believe they're using it to train and ready themselves for war. The Jedi's numbers are already low. If this training compound can be destroyed, we will be at an inarguable advantage when full-scale hostilities begin. This seems straightforward enough. Why are you so sure Darth Malora will fail? I do not believe she will fail. Her power is not in question. I only fear the cost of that victory. I will forward all of my available data on Malora and the operation. Your assistance will no doubt ensure the mission's success. I am certain that Empress Asina will be most appreciative. Thank you for your time, Commander. I shall look forward to word of your triumph. Glory to the Empire. Glory to the Empire, Moth. I would recommend that you travel to Osus alone. We wouldn't want Malora or her troops to see this as a show of force, or confuse her with unexpected allies. Translation? Definitely don't take the former Republic spy, or anyone else they might be inclined to shoot on sight. 
It is important to make a good first impression. Great. We're back on the haircut. Surely you could come with me, Lana. I would love nothing more. But I'm not especially popular with my fellow Sith. I don't know Melora, but I'd rather not chance it. I'll see that a shuttle is prepared for you. May the Force serve you well, Commander. No sudden moves, if you please. I'm here to help. That a fact? At the request of Moff Pyron. Well, that's a different story. You do look familiar, somehow. We worked together before. Ugh, this ruckus is intolerable. I'm trying to concentrate. What is the meaning of all this? You! I should have known some glory hound like you would slither their way into my grandest achievement. Just what business does the Alliance have here, Commander? I'm here to see that this mission gets done. If that's not why you're here, then get out of my way. Of all the presumptuous, arrogant... This is my operation. I will see it done my way. If you feel you can contribute, I'm sure the Major can use your help for something or other. Whatever you end up doing, do it quietly. I need to focus on my creations. Her creations are just as likely to get us killed as any Jedi. Idiot. Why don't you tell me more about what's happening here, Major? Our odds of success are going up by the second, that's what. Now that you're here, we might get some real work done. Let's buckle down, huh? Objective is to trash the Republic colony, Take out all the Jedi we can find. We've got troops ready, willing, and able. Does her Sithly eminence send us to do that? Or does she hold us all back while she works on her little science project? Science project? Geonotions. Mutated, turbocharged, psycho Geonotions. They're killers. She got that much right. They just don't care who they're killing, imp or rep. Buggy freaks clipped one of my boys, Brax, while he was out on patrol. No comms and he hasn't made it back. Dead or alive, his gear's got info that could give away our position. Can't risk that. I was just about to go looking for him. Care to join? You don't have search parties out already? Would have, if you hadn't parked your shuttle in the middle of our briefing. I'm ready to go whenever you are, Commander. Tell me about the new Dark Council. Still works more or less the same way, just less seats. The twelve organizations got merged into five. Still got one Sith on top of each of them. They run the Empire day to day and report to Empress Asina. Been pretty stable since it was reformed. They're not all as quirky as Melora either. Some good heads in there, like Krobos. Your old seat got merged into the Sith Doctrine Pyramid. Darth Anathel runs that one. Never met him. I'll make sure to meet him soon enough. Bet you will. All right, nothing here. Let's keep moving. What do you think of Empress Asina? Smart, patient, worth following. She's kept you and the Alliance on board, so you must not feel too different. Still, a bit hard to believe the old Emperor was planning to eat us all. Guess we all owe you for that one, huh? So, you know, thanks for saving the galaxy and everyone I ever loved. Anyway, Nothing on the scanner. We can keep moving. Are non-human military officers common now? Getting there? I'm one of the first to get a rank like this. But the numbers are getting better every day. I had a bit of a head start. When I was a slave, I was running ops for my old master. Made his actual troops furious. He was a colonel in the infantry. Special forces. Every mission he gave me, I ran circles around all his fancy officers. Got me a commission the minute they changed the rules. What happened to your master? Crusty old Slimo's dead. Good riddance. 
Not picking up anything here. Let's move on. I should contact the Alliance. Our forces could finish this in a matter of hours. I'll bet they would. Uh, we can't risk long-range comms. Jedi might pick it up. They hear a message like that, they'll clear out before we can do any real damage. Sure would be nice to see a real assault force, though. I'm told the war with Zakul was costly. What is the status of the Imperial military? Nowhere near the numbers we had in the old days. Just not enough materials and fuel and food to make it happen. Still a few steps ahead of the Republic, at least. We can thank Asina for that. She managed to rebuild a lot of warships without Zakul knowing. Is that what Moff Pyron was up to? You'll have to ask him. Blast. Still nothing. You know, I'm having a thought. Melora loaded the first wave of mutants on a shuttle, planning to drop them near the colony. They broke loose. Shuttle went down. Big surprise. It didn't go down far from here. We get the sensors on that bird working. We can scan a lot further. This is it. Mm. Background radiation has the scanner all twisted up. This might take a few minutes. A few very exciting minutes, apparently. Let them come. Really got some moves. I'm not sure these Geonosians are all that Melora makes them out to be. I'd love to watch you give her some feedback. Let's see now. Okay. Got him! That's Brax, all right. Let's get moving. Brax, been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, boss. Been quite a day. Looks like it isn't over yet, either. More Geonosians. Ready if you are. Still in one piece, Sergeant? Not quite, Major, but close enough. Thanks for the save. Thank you both. Pardon, it's been a long day, but... Are you... Is that who I think it is? <laughs> Aww, little Braxy doesn't think he's worthy of a celebrity rescue. Such a weird day. Honor to meet you, Commander. Moff Pyron was afraid your squad's talent would be wasted, or that you'd be killed due to Melora's incompetence. He was right. We're just lucky her mutants are no match for a trio of real killers, eh? Braxy is probably my top scout. We'd be in a real mess without him. Hey, probably. So impress me, why don't you? Well, as a matter of fact, you know anything about a stealth supply drop coming in today? Nothing on the schedule. You saw one come in. I did. Landed near here. Was on my way there when the bugs pinned me down. Only thing you're on your way to is a Bacta tank. We'll check out the supply drop site. You up for a bit more action, Commander? What kind of supplies are you expecting? Wasn't expecting any. It's probably more lab toys for Melora. But maybe we'll luck out. Wouldn't mind some new gear. Either way, we best find it before the Jedi do. Your ride's on its way, Brax. We'll see you back in camp. Much obliged.
never expected to find real working farms here. Wonder how they're managing to grow anything in soil this bad. I didn't take you for a farmer. More of a gardener. Flowers, mainly. You're joking. Keep that sunny disposition. I might even send you a few. Wonder where they found soil reclamators that could handle a job like this. Jedi must have brought a few engineers along. We've had some weird reports in this sector. Sightings of a really big humanoid. Even had a Sith go missing around here. Lucky he wasn't one of Melora's favorites. We'd have been forced to care. All the same, we best keep our eyes open. Starting to pick up a lot of chatter on the Jedi channels. Looks like it's coming from the other side of the farm. Let's check over there. There's a presence nearby. It's oddly familiar. Should I be worried? No, Major. Go on ahead. I'll catch up in a moment. Matai gas win pidal pi matai wulpaz in alai us polanai. You always did have a large appetite. See naikalao painai will pines japar in a bella in pamalap fralat forte fuima alaisos gas calf ties. In bizose white ice pila press in cretai in pise e wanata atrakata in jice. Leon Dandans atense lapto iswis do dalai lotais wahaisen. You promised to serve me eternally. You'd dare to break your word. And so will a pardos, so gi in a gangan disar far isis. Where papa praujins in alama patai galakai in alama amainai. Usatida sin. Fara alaim ja al in ima ja haban iten. Don't question my strength, fool. Me at star. I kagai wire papa fraudins ala petaik galakai in alama. In Pamela Hap Fralat Forte Fuima, Elizos Kaskaf Tais. Can you open it? Mm, doesn't look like it. My authorization code won't cut it. Gonna have to be Melora. Speaking of, we should try to convince her to let us make a play for the Jedi's farming data. If the Jedi could grow food here, they could grow it anywhere. We nab their data and wipe their computers. That could be us instead. We grow more food. We feed more soldiers. We win more battles. Huge advantage. I couldn't agree more. We'll gather what the Jedi have learned, then make sure they can't use it. I'm seeing why you're so popular, Commander. Let's call in a speeder, get this thing back to camp. any supply drop. I don't like this. Not one bit. It's a trick. Another distraction. 
something sent by a rival. Someone trying to undermine the operation. I won't fall for it. So you're not just stupid, but paranoid, too. Only a fool assumes no one wants them dead. No, no, no one is going to open this pod. No one is going to touch this pod. The operation is well underway. Your super soldiers are out of control. A minor setback that I have already overcome. I have formulated a mutative virus that will alter the Geonosians' olfactory membranes and adrenal cortices, making them susceptible to pheromone interventions. We need only infect the Geonosian Queen and her six broodmates with my custom viral strains. That will spread the changes throughout their population. Of course, accessing the Queen's chambers will be a challenge. Suicidal, even, if her three bodyguard drones aren't killed first. <sighs> no! I impossible! You died! I am Darth Malgus. I speak with the full power of the Sith Empire, and I am in command now. You. I wasn't expecting you to be a part of this operation. I trust you share our goal. The complete eradication of all Jedi on this planet. I think this operation would be better off with me running things. These are Imperial troops operating an Imperial base. They are not yours to command. Too much time has been wasted already. We will begin by blinding and silencing our enemy. Who is the ranking military officer? Here, my lord. Major Anri. All Jedi communications and sensors must be jammed before we attack. Take as many soldiers as you need to complete this task. I'll only need one person to get that job done. Commander, would you be so kind? I'd be glad to do something useful, so that Malgus can focus on his posturing. I'll be assessing the progress made before my arrival. I'm sure, with your help, it was extensive. And on that note, ready when you are, Commander. First you, now Malgus. This planet's turned into a real hot spot for the big to-dos. Should have worn my dressier armor. Did you know Malgus was alive? Nah. There were always people saying he was, but I never gave him much credence. They said he was the new Empire's Wrath. A shadowy monster out killing all the traitors and cowards. So brush your teeth and eat your vegetables. That kind of stuff. Guess it was true after all. Thanks for not tearing the camp apart, by the way. What do you mean? When Malgus showed up. Too powerful Sith, both used to calling the shots. It's not an end pretty. Hell, look what happened to Melora. Compromise isn't the Sith way. Can't speak to that, but it meant a lot to the troops, seeing you work together to get the job done. Raven to Nest, blackout complete. Nest here, copy that. Be advised, spotters ID'd some enemy forces near your position. They might try to shut down the jammers. Good thing I've got you to back me up. Raven to Nest, we'll handle them. Raven out. to a crisp. Looks like you can shut their sensors down from there. I'm going to do a quick sweep. See if you can't find a copy of their farming data while you're at it. Data received. I'm now infiltrating the Jedi computer system. 
All data on their crop and soil rejuvenation programs will be copied and then deleted. You have served the Empire well. Congratulations, Commander. Are we set? Raven to nest. Job's done. Enemy is dark. Excellent. All units are prepared. We have traced the bulk of the Jedi to an ancient library. That is our objective. Coordinates received. We'll meet you there. For the Empire. The library. The whole reason I accepted this pitiful assignment. You survived. I never would have made the Dark Council if a little shove were enough to kill me. What's so special about the library? Knowledge. Research and documentation of long-forgotten techniques gathered from both the Sith and the Jedi. Not to worry. I won't stand in your way. Complete the mission. I will simply pick over the remains for what I seek. You aren't even going to try to stand up to Malchus. How did someone like you get onto the Dark Council? When you study the creatures of the galaxy as I have, you come to learn that there is always a bigger fish. Get on with your work, but know this. Empress Asina may have Malgus on a leash, but that does not make her the only one who can pull it. Strange lady, that one. Any luck with the farming data? I found everything we need. I've already sent it to Imperial Command. Outstanding! You don't know what a difference this is gonna make. Reps will be too busy fighting for scraps to fight us. All right, time to hit the library. Major Anri. What's your plan? Not a plan. A proposition. You came to Osus to aid our mission. As the galaxy marches to war, you fight to see our empire triumph over its ancient enemies. Together, you and I can strike the first blow in that battle. We will find the leader of these Jedi, Nost Dural, and defeat him. We will show the galaxy that no Jedi can stand against our combined might. Just as the Republic, cannot stand against the combined might of the Empire and your alliance. Fine by me. I just hope you can keep up with me. <sighs> Major, take the rest of the troops and sweep the building. Eradicate all who oppose you. We will do the same. Jedi Master, Nos Dural. Darth Malgus, alive and well. This explains the sudden shift to more aggressive tactics against us. And you must be the commander of the Alliance. Ultimate destroyer of the Sith Emperor. A story I would have loved to document. A pity that two such influential leaders would waste their potential by traveling here just to burn some old books and kill an old man. We are here to root out all of the Jedi. Didn't you hear the screams? Only the weak choose fear as their weapon. Let's find out if you can live up to your respective legends. So be it, Jedi. Let's begin. We are all shaped by the choices of our past. Nostral is a master of mind tricks. Do not let yourself be deceived. The power of the dark side is a lie. Distinguished company. 
Left to me, this library will be your grave, Jedi. But your fate is in the Commander's hands. I'd say you have the right idea. Kill him before he bores us to death with another lecture. We finished here. Rally the surviving troops outside. Yes, my lord. Major, all troops, return to base at once. Losses, Major. We lost a lot of equipment, some gear and supplies, several of our troops stationed on lookout, but it could have been much, much worse. Then we stand our ground. We have won a great victory today. This trifling attack will not chase us away. Major, see that images of Nostral's corpse are transmitted to the enemy. Aye, my lord. Commander, thank you for everything. It's been a real honor. Likewise, Major. I hope we can work together again someday. Fine by me. All this fighting's easy with you around. So long. Coming broadcast from Empress Asina. Malgus. I'm told you've completed your task in customarily worthless fashion. We have slain countless Jedi, including the overseer of this colony, Nos Dural. His loss will cut our enemies deeply. Impressive work indeed. But I've learned of an equally fascinating opportunity. Though it appears to have escaped your notice, the Jedi successfully raised numerous crops on that dead planet. Whatever techniques they applied there could have been seized and applied to generate plentiful food for our troops in this time of severe shortages. Fortunately, the Alliance commander was more attentive and captured the data from the Jedi computers. Well done, Commander. You've ensured a strong Imperial military for years to come. I'm glad that I could be of service, Empress. And what of the remaining Jedi, Empress? Our ships have detected shuttles evacuating in droves. They will intercept as many as possible, and we will leave a meager force to protect against further incursions. Your mission on Osus is over. Return to me at once, so that we may prepare you for your next assignment. Commander. Your assistance is, as always, deeply appreciated. The Sith Empire is made stronger by its ties to your alliance. Our renewed war against the Republic has only just begun. But I am certain that you will become our greatest asset in the battles to come. Farewell.
I must prepare to depart immediately. I can't understand why you're willing to be another one of Racina's servants. You should hope that you never do. Today, we began a war. One that I've already fought twice. Twice our empire has set the galaxy ablaze. Twice we have tried to burn away the hypocrisies and weaknesses of the Republic and their Jedi. Twice we have failed. We must not fail again, Commander. For there is precious little tinder left to keep our fire burning. Farewell. Jawais from Bama Daga, I house the didum, me evil item. In Alai Matai, Gas Win Pidal, P Matai Wulpaz, in Alai Uspolanai. My power grows each day. You'll never surpass me. Jani Bragais, uns in Freis Tubnajal. Sai Galut Saida, Iswis us Ulf Bundan, Ja Atnam, in Buidangarja.